Parks After Dark, or PAD, was launched at three county parks in 2010 as the prevention component of the county's violence reduction initiative. And in 2018, it has expanded to 33 county parks throughout the county due to its many proven successes. The UCLA Center for Health Policy Research collected data and evaluated the benefits of Parks After Dark and its impacts on LA County communities. I've invited some of my friends to share with you the highlights of UCLA's 2017 PAD evaluation and why PAD plays an important role in all of our communities. Parks After Dark is a proven model that provides a community-based framework for prevention and intervention for at-risk youth and vulnerable families that need supportive services. The target populations are communities with high rates of poverty, crime, obesity, and systems-involved youth. PAD offers extended hours of park operations when schools are closed during the summer, and starting in 2018, PAD will be offered during winter and spring breaks. Organized activities for youth are critical during these times to keep them engaged and active in recreation and dynamic programming. PAD increases physical activity, decreases chronic disease risk, and increases access to quality recreational programming and innovative services. 83% of those who attended PAD participated in physical activity. If PAD physical activities maintain at the same level throughout the year, the program will have the potential to reduce the incidence of chronic disease in the community, which will significantly result in 12 more years of life expectancy and 12 fewer years of disability. With almost 200,000 visits in 2017 and reaching 64% of the zip codes in LA County, this is a significant public health impact. PAD was designed to provide a safe space for families and communities to gather and access quality programming and services. Parks After Dark decreases community violence and increases perception of safety. 94% of Parks After Dark visitors feel safe during Parks After Dark programs. Feeling safe increases engagement and participation in community and park activities decreasing social isolation, and positively impacting overall well-being. Parks After Dark reduces community violence. Since its inception, 41 serious and violent crimes, such as homicide, and 478 nonviolent crimes, such as petty theft, have been avoided in Parks After Dark communities. Parks After Dark provides opportunities for families and neighbors to socialize and create a sense of community in a safe environment. PAD increases social cohesion and community well-being. 98% of PAD visitors said PAD improved quality time with their family and almost 90% attended with their children age 18 and under. 96% of PAD visitors said that PAD improved relationships with their neighbors. A thriving community is one where you have strong family and community ties, and PAD achieves both. With the expansion of PAD to 33 parks, WIDAGS was proud to also expand our partnership with Parks and Recreation. We hired over 300 youth to work at PAD, the youth were mentored and gained valuable experience delivering programs and serving their communities. This type of experiences, no doubt in my mind, will inspire many of these youth to become leaders in their communities. PAD transforms lives thanks to Parks and Workforce Development Department. 19 girls from inner city visions were hired to work at Pathoon and Roosevelt Parks in Florence Firestone. These girls were at risk to human trafficking. They were at a vulnerable point in their lives and needed to be diverted and empowered. These jobs provided them the opportunity to support themselves, work alongside people who are passionate about serving communities and seeing the positive impacts of PAD. It not only gave the girls work experience, it gave them hope and it changed their future. As you heard from my friends, PAD transforms communities. But that's not all. In addition to those amazing highlights, PAD also achieves cost savings for the county. In 2017, an estimated 2.2 million 
were avoided in criminal justice costs and 1.1 million was avoided in chronic disease costs. That totals over 3.3 million in avoidable costs. And I wanna thank the community for coming out, the Board of Supervisors, the Chief Executive Office, 19 different county departments, over 50 community-based organizations located throughout the county, and you, our public, everyone throughout the county who partners with us for Parks After Dark. Parks do make life better.